what you guys got another video here for you on how to upgrade windows 10 to windows 11 without losing any data so first we're going to activate windows 10 to do that we're going to go to cd key cells you're going to need to set up an account it's very quick and easy to do just head over there set an account up and i'll give you a promo code where you can get windows 10 very cheaply which is going to be able to activate windows 11. so do a search for windows 10 pro all you need to do here is choose whether you want the OEM version, which is locked to one computer. You can't use it on any other computers. Once that's activated, it is locked to that PC. Or you can buy the retail version, which allows you to deactivate it and then put that onto another computer. If you want to do that, you can buy the retail version. I'm going to be going with the OEM version here. So I'm going to select this. Once I've selected the OEM version, you can see it listed here. You can check the region where you live to make sure it's acceptable in that region. Make sure that you're not activating this by upgrading from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. That will not work. You need to either do a fresh install or do the way I'm doing it in this video. So if you're running Windows 10 Home, you will not be able to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro by this method. You will need to physically install Windows 10 Pro first and then you can upgrade to Windows 11. Check your flags to make sure it is in your country that you can purchase this and use this key. Then all you need to do is click on the buy now. This will take you to the next page where you can put my promotion code in. The promotion code is listed on the screen. It is capital B, capital R, 09. Once you apply this, you're gonna get a discount on your purchase. And this can change from time to time, depending on the promotions that they're running at the time on their site. So it can vary from time to time, normally 25 to 30%, sometimes more. Click the submit order. This will then take us to the purchase page where I'm going to click on PayPal to pay for it. It's the safest way and click pay now. And as you can see, this will take us to our PayPal window where we can put in our PayPal details. So put in your PayPal details and click login and then you can purchase your key. Once you've done this, it'll take you to the next step where you can view your key and then use your key to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11. Here we can view our product key. I can then copy this key and then take it over to the PC and activate. Now, if you've already activated Windows or you've got a version of Windows that's activated, you don't need to purchase that key. You've already got one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows isn't activated because I want to activate this before I go to Windows 11. And I'm going to click on here and this will take me to the activation window. Once this opens up, you can see it's not activated. So we need to uh, change our product key. So I'm going to come down here, down to the bottom and click on change product key. This is where you can enter your product key. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to paste this into this location here. I'll blur this out so you can't see it. Let's pasted it in there and we can now click on the next button, which will take us to the next step in the activation process. Now you will need to make sure that you've got an internet connection to the internet. We're going to click on activate and this will then go off and connect to the Microsoft activation servers to check our key to make sure it's validated and it's a legit key and it will then activate Windows 10. You can see here, this has now been activated and we've now got a fully activated version of Windows 10 Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and then upgrade to Windows 11. I'll show you how to do that. Now, Microsoft have put up an official page where you can download the Windows 11 ISO image. It's called Windows Insider Preview Downloads. This will change and I will update the link in the video description for the official uh, Windows 11 final release when they do that. At the moment, you still need to be in the Windows Insider Preview to be able to download that ISO image. I'm going to already download this ISO, but I'll show you how to do it. You need to go into your Windows Insider Preview program so you can download the ISO image. Select the edition that you want. You can see here Windows Insider Preview, Dev Channel or Beta Channel. Now, if you're watching this video a little later on, when the final release is released, you'll be able to download this from the official Windows 11 download page. I will update that link in the video description. But as of right now, you need to be in the Windows Insider Preview to be able to download this ISO file. So go to your language, choose it, and then click Confirm, and this will let you download the Windows 11 Client Insider Preview build. 
Now, once they do the final release, you won't have to be inside the Windows Insider program to be able to download this ISO. You'll be able to download it directly like you can now through some sort of media creation tool on the Windows 10 uh, web page, whereas yours will be now the Windows 11 web page. I will update that link in the video description. I'm going to be using 7-Zip here. I've downloaded it. It's a free piece of software that allows you to unzip files and unpack ISO files, and I'm going to be downloading this and installing it on my PC. So I've got the ISO file on my desktop. I'm going to right-click on this and use 7-Zip to open the archive, and then I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called Win11. I'm just going to quickly do this right now, and then I can extract all of the files inside here. These are the Windows 11 ISO files, and I can drag these into a folder. So once all these files have been copied over to my desktop in a folder called Win11, we can do what's called an in-place upgrade. What is an in-place upgrade? An in-place upgrade is the installation of an operating system on a computer without removing the older operating system first and without saving any data or backing up any data. It's basically uh, installing an operating system over top of another operating system. So if we look inside our Win11 folder here, you can see a setup file. Click on this one, and this will open up the Windows 11 installation. And you can see here, I'm just going to ID so you can see the desktop clearly. And once this is done, you'll see the Windows 11, install Windows 11 pop-up screen here. So all we need to do here is change how the setup downloads updates. So if you want to do updates right away here, this will download updates drivers and other optional features, which is recommended by Microsoft. For quickness, I'm going to go not at the moment. I'm just going to be doing the upgrade, and I can do this afterwards. But you should leave it on download updates. It's going to check my PC to make sure the PC is compatible and it's ready to accept the Windows 11 upgrade I'm going to accept these terms and conditions here and basically it's going to make sure you're ready to install so it's just going to go through some checks so be patient and let it do its thing it does take a little bit of time i've edited this video as much as i can to skip a lot of this stuff but i've tried not to skip any steps ready to install install windows 11 pro keep personal files and apps or you can go keep personal files only or you can use nothing method, which is basically it will delete everything on the computer and install Windows 11 from scratch. That's basically the three options. So it's going to make sure you're ready to install and check a few things out. And now it's finally ready. It says we're OK. We can choose to recap here. I'm going to click install here and get on with the installation process. This will then kick up a big blue screen that says install in Windows, as you can see here. And basically, your PC may restart a bunch of times during the installation process. So bear that in mind. I will skip through this part, and I've not skipped any, any steps. But just bear in mind, you may see the PC restart a few times. As you can see here, it's going to start working on updates. So this is the part where it's sort of getting your Windows 11 ready. You can see it will say hi, and then it's going to say getting a few things ready for you. It's going to say, this may take a few minutes. Do not turn off your PC. And then basically, it will do a few more things, and it will say almost there. And then basically, you will get to the desktop of Windows 11. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, when you don't need to join the Windows Insider Preview program to get the ISO file, the process is exactly the same. You would just extract all the files from the ISO and just basically do an in-place upgrade like that. If you want to use this method, there is other ways of upgrading to Windows 11. There were some updates there, as you can see, because we skipped those, and basically they come down in the background once we got to the desktop, and we can then reboot the PC and do our final updates, which was needed to be done on Windows 11. This is Windows 11 beta. Once Windows 11 is finally released, you will be able to go to their website and download it straight from their website without being in the Windows Insider program. So what do I think of Windows 11? I think it's absolutely awesome. Give it a go if you haven't tried it yet. Don't knock it until you've tried it. It's a pretty good operating system. Give it a go. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. Anyway, with that said, my name is Big Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my sponsor for this video, CD Key Sales, and a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.